Hey YouTube, we're, today is day one in Bogota, Colombia. We touched down yesterday, but we didn't get inside until actually midnight, so it didn't really count. But day one, we ventured the streets. And we're off. I believe this was an eight hour flight. We had about an hour layover. And we arrived very late at night, 11 p.m. maybe. And this is what our view looks like from our room at that hour. Good morning. Good morning. We're in awe with this place. You won't believe how much this costs per month. We're here for 27 days. We paid $855 to stay at this condo on the 31st floor. And then this is right outside of our hotel or outside of our room. This is what they call 7MA and it's like, uh, it's, it's a very busy street with a lot of vending. Walking to breakfast and we stumbled upon a park. Again, this is right around the corner from where we're staying. Very walkable. Mille Cafe was delicious. They have a lot of huevos. The pricing was, the precio es <laughs> barato. Like $20 for everything. Bogota is a very, very busy city. Fruit stands everywhere. Stores everywhere. Taxis everywhere. Motorcyclists everywhere. We can walk to the National Museum. We actually was going to go inside, but they charge locals a dollar and they charge tourists $10. So we decided against it and we went to the Museo Botero instead, which was free and absolutely breathtaking. I'll be sure to include that in next week's video. Our first week in Bogota was quite gloomy, very cloudy and rainy. So we got there on the 1st of February. So February 1 to about the 8th um, was very cloudy, rainy. But you'll see in the weeks to come that it definitely warms up and we get blue skies and it's just much better. Again, street vending is very big here. Idis, my fiance, loves pastry. So every time we turn around, he's getting a pastry. <laughs> And the colors, the graffiti, uh, everywhere. Just absolutely vibrant. Very vibrant city. Something about the dogs here. Los perros son muy libre. Chess seems to be big here. We see them playing chess on a lot of streets. My fiance and I happen to love chess. We didn't want their, we didn't want the smoke though, so we <laughs> You will find graffiti almost on every every street. Wait, let me five eighty four for how many? Four pastries. Three pastries. We're at the mall, one of the malls, there's many malls. We came here pretty late. Um, we were actually just trying to get some food. And actually this, where we end up eating, which you'll see here in a moment, had the very best margaritas I've ever had in my entire life. And they were like $6 you'll find that the pricing in Bogota is almost offensive from where we come from. It's like a fourth of the price. We stumbled upon a random concert right outside of our house. More street vending. I actually purchased a um, plato ring. Check them out, paradisevibing.com. Thank <laughs> you.
So Bogota is actually a commercial area and it's known for a lot of businesses so you see a lot of tall business buildings and a lot of vegetation which I love, a lot of greenery. Luckily, we had a gym right in our building. Just enjoying a little breakfast at home before we hit the town again. Whatever you want or need, it's probably on 7MA. This is like a sugar cane drink that my fiance actually really likes. And then this is a very elaborate coffee shop. They do science in this coffee shop. <laughs> and we got a coffee flight, which is why you see so many different pours. But you should know what you're getting yourself into when you get a coffee flight because that's actually my boy fiance's latte poured into one of my coffee flights because they don't give you cream or sugar with it. And I'm a coffee connoisseur, but I would like some cream and sugar, please. <laughs> they told you science. Are they making a creme brulee over there? I'm not sure. <laughs> I really can't wait to show you guys week two and three because the weather just did a complete 180 and we were really able to explore a lot more in the coming weeks because of it. Gracias. Did I tell you guys how happy the dogs are here? They're so much more free. I'd probably say 20% are on a leash, 80% are just roaming free. They're so well trained. It's beautiful. It also, I didn't mention this yet, but there's like a peacefulness here. There's a calmness in the air. Although there are so many people, so many cars and movement, it's very calm. It's a calming place, especially compared to where I live in DC. Very charged area, not here. Nothing charged about this place. You don't hear a bunch of horns, no one's yelling. People are pretty quiet. It's, I was shocked. There's so much to see. And the hubs don't stop. I mean, you walk, a short distance and you're in another hubby area. They've really developed Bogota through and through. I think this was La Candelaria, which is a beautiful hub area. Mm, one of the favorite spots that we've eaten at was here. I really enjoyed the food. And this was in La Candelaria. Again, of course, my fiance had to pick up a pastry. <laughs> and this is probably the most expensive restaurant we've eaten at so far. Day seven. We're going to do a week update and yeah walk with us around Bogota, Colombia. We are walking to the Mercado of the 
Candelaria? Uh, uh, Concordia. Ah, El Mercado del uh, Concordia. It's only a siete minuto caminar desde nuestra casa. So, yeah. We're pretty walkable to a lot of stuff. It's really cute. Coffee shops are king here. Pond and cafes are king. We stumped upon a cafe that actually this one was a local Colombian coffee. So we landed in a delicious coffee shop. He said it's really big. Another piece that I was surprised at is Bogota's architecture. They have beautiful architecture here. It's awing as it is in DC. Many different styles. We learned pretty quickly that no one here speaks English, so that's great. Luckily for me, I've been studying Spanish for about two years. And um, yeah, really got to put it into use on this trip. guys stick around because as I said we actually attacked that mountain that you see in the video Manzarati we venture out so much farther once the weather clears up next week and the following so I'm excited to show you guys more and hope you enjoyed like and subscribe